What's good everyone, it's your man Busy Braun, we are here with another episode for the Sandman, we are here with episode 3, and uh, the first two episodes are cool, I liked it, you know, I'm still waiting to, to fully fall in love with the show, but so far it hasn't been awful, it hasn't let me down and I've enjoyed it. So I'm really looking forward to just diving into this episode. Uh, of course, things are kind of picking up um, with, you know, K introducing Cain and Abel in the last episode was pretty cool. You know, I've, you know, I'm familiar with them, so it was definitely interesting. The gargo, oh, the gargoyle, definitely uh, s stole the show for me at least. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but it was definitely, uh, it, nah, that was one of my favorite parts of the episode. Um, don't know how crazy this episode is gonna be. It's longer than the last episode, but. Still, like I said, we're going to try our best to get as many as we can out. Um, we already are done with the first two, so we're going to edit this. And if I have time, I'll try to get one more. But, you know, it's been, it's it's crazy and I am, I'm tired, man. <laughs> it's been, it's been crazy. But I'm excited to hear your thoughts. So again, if you're new, subscribe. Check out the stuff in my description. We got uh, our social medias, Twitter, Instagram, uh, TikTok. We're almost at 100,000 followers. So all the support, I'd really appreciate it. And make sure you let me know that you want more of these reactions. And I will be sure to make that happen. Just make sure you let me know and show some love by liking the video, subscribing, and checking out my socials. Uh, now that we got all that YouTube stuff out of the way, I am stoked. I'm ready. Yeah. Let's get busy. Chapter 3, Dream a Little Dream of Me. Is this Constantine? Astra! I came as soon as Astra! Ah, uh, yeah, this is cool! We have to go! We have to go to here now! We will tell me I wanna see John! Like when Mum died. Ugh. Oi! Logue! Oi! Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, it was Sorry. a dream! Hello! The one who puts the kids to sleep. He's a fairy story, Hattie. He's the oh, yeah? fairy story, Missy. Have we met? Uh, business, you and I. The Sandman! <laughs> Can we at least jog her first? Get her drunk, tie her up a little bit. Take your top off. Sounds like a good time. Kevin, take. Ow, yeah. Whoa! Yeah, I, I do. Then repeat Jeez. after me. Jeez. Don't look at me. Uh, yes. <laughs> oh! oh my god, there's a whole ass person in him! Oh, it's ripping him apart! Oh! Oh, that is awesome! <laughs> what? Far more enjoyable ways to make you stop. His name is Agalaeus. There he is. Oh, he's so cool. Oh, look at him. I'm <laughs> Lord Morpheus, after all your time away. Ah, uh, yeah, you heard that name. Lord Morpheus, I'm going to fuck off back to hell. Oh, my God, this is cool. <laughs> oh, shit, before he could get his answers. I do that. Oh, I like her. I've just tripled my fee. <laughs> all right, man. Who do I invoice for this? Church of England or Buckingham Palace? <laughs> Yo, she kind of reminds me of someone. She's the hundred badges. He also kept a mistress. Ethel. Called Ethel Cripps. Wow, oh, so he knows. Don't want you and your little friend follow me all over London. My friend. Is that not your raven? Oh, she sent one with him anyways. Oh, that's not the OG Who though. Are you? Oh, no. Uh, Matthew, sir. Oh, that's Patton Oswalt! <laughs> I used to have thumbs. I now I have these things. So he used to be a person. Yeah, my last raven came here to help me. Yeah? Where's he now? Oh, uh, she. Her name was Jessamy. She died. <sighs> trying to help me. No! Oh, this is dark. So Astra's already gone at this point. A magic user called Burgess. Well, not Roderick Burgess. Said the devil locked up in his basement. How the fuck did you? She's catching on. <laughs> oh, this is cool. If you bring me the ruby, dude's power hungry. People didn't get hurt. John. People died. You killed them. They Are they gonna show it? To take it from me. I was defending myself. This could get awkward. More. 
Oh. He's like, okay, can we just get it done? Did we break up? You just left, exactly. bro. Yeah. Oh man. Human beings oh, he's cannot back. be trusted. No. Is that right? If I... Oh, they're having a good time. But they all told me to just get over you. Because you're selfish. Oh Ruthless. no. Coward. Is she dreaming again? Who ruins everything she touches? What the hell? Oh, she's dreaming again, right? That's such a what the hell is going on, bro? She has. Oh my god. Please. Look at her. Oh my god, this is awful. We can go. And leave what? her like that? What? We can't go. We can't leave her like this. Oh my god. Oh man. Oh, is she gone? Oh, man. I'm trying to save you, not hurt you. Here. Yeah, that's it's Professor Lupin, hard. right? Man, look at him, dude. I didn't even recognize him at first. I started realizing it in the last scene, and I'm like, nah, nah, that's him. Are we gonna watch Ethel die? She doesn't have the necklace keeping her alive anymore. Oh, my God. It's already working. No. My oh my god! What did you do to her? Nothing, I didn't do anything. Bro, chill out, chill out. Did you step away from her? Put that around your neck! Okay. I'm sorry. Oh! Oh! Oh, just the sound effects, bro. Oh, that's all blood! Look at the elevator! That nightmare won't trouble you anymore. That's nice, man. <laughs> oh, man. Imagine having to start your morning to, like, the worst memory that you've ever had. Just every- every day. That- that'd be awful. You never have to have this conversation ever again. I don't think he's amused anymore. Something. The way we should probably check in with Lucian first, right? Oh, See no. how she's feeling about it in favor of. Uh, oh, man, I'm gonna sure. say you're listening, so fuck it, let's go to hell. <laughs> fuck it, man. <laughs> oh man, are we done? They these go by so fast, bro. All right, guys. So another one down. So my goal is to finish editing this and then we're probably going to take a little nap because we've been up since 3 in the morning and I'm tired. And then when I wake up, I'm going to try to get one more. If I um, don't wake up too late, then maybe we can get two more. But who knows? I, I, like I said, my goal, I'm really trying to get as many done before I have to leave on Monday. And um, if you guys are enjoying the reactions, then we will try our best to wipe it all out in this weekend. But you guys know. Uh, if you are familiar with reactions, you know that can be difficult to get a whole season out in, in a span of like three days. So I'm going to try, but it's going to be difficult. Um, Johanna, uh, Joanna Constantine, uh, interesting. You know, I'm not too familiar, you know, with, with her specifically. But, um, of course, uh, we, we know our boy John. Uh, so seeing Aster, of course, was uh, something I was somewhat familiar with. Um but yeah, I mean, I thought it was cool. I mean, I I really, I was I was cool with the with with what we got. I mean, I, I, she was an interesting character. I was actually I'm rooting for more of her throughout the season because uh, I did like her interactions with um with with what is what's his name uh Morpheus because you know they just the way they 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 talk to each other they're they're just she's not shy to just say whatever the hell's on her mind and I feel like not many people. We're just talking to him, you know, like normally. So I am really interested in seeing uh, more interactions between them two. Uh, we end up getting a moment with the demon, which was a really, honestly, a super dope uh, scene. Seeing him literally climb out of the groom and kind of rip open the dude's uh, body from, you know, inside out. Uh, extremely brutal, but it was pretty dope. And on top of that, the dude was like 10 feet tall. So seeing him standing right next to Joanna and her having literally no fear about the situation was 
absolutely nuts, but it extreme again, extremely interesting. And uh, it's it, this, this show is just it, it's, it has my attention. Like I said, it ha- it's it's been fun, and I am continuing. I'm, I am going to continue, and I'm just definitely interested to hear how you guys are feeling. Some of you have already, you know, stated your opinion. Some of you are really excited about it, but some of you are a little disappointed, which I understand, like, specifically with, uh, uh, you know, being a fan of the these characters prior to a show. Like, I'm, I'm sure that if you were to watch the, the show and, and the characters just they weren't done justice i guess from your point of view i can understand you not wanting to to continue it um i know someone actually mentioned the one piece live action they're like oh now i have hope for the li- the live action show bro i am so ready when that show drops we are burning through our reactions one piece is uh, is something that i've uh, gotten into and um, i I've, I've i've really loved i'm on episode like 930 and I am i am loving it i am loving it man i am i am really looking forward to the live action show and um, I'm, if you are not a fan of One Piece, give the live action show a chance because I know a lot of people are like, oh, I don't want to watch an anime. That's not for me. We'll give the live action show a shot. I'm sure they will try to do it justice. And I, I really want to believe that it will be good. But um, we'll have to wait and see. Another Raven is sent. Um, well, first, I want to finish the whole demon thing. The demon going getting sent to hell. Um, again, the CGI in this. Great. I love it. Um, seeing him get sent down the hell and his whole demeanor changed. He's like, all right, I'll tell you, just don't let me, don't make me go back there, you know? Um, I still thought that scene was uh, pretty insane. We end up getting another Raven sent. Ends up being played by Pat and Oswald. Um, of course, you can recognize that voice from, doesn't matter where you are. Like, you got, that, that voice is familiar. I mean, the dude's going to be in the Eternals. He plays, uh, post-credit scene for the Eternals. He, um, of course, played, uh, Remy from, um, Ratatouille, uh, and of course, uh, something that I enjoyed him in, uh, personally was, um, in, uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., if you guys are familiar with, uh, him in that, it's pretty awesome, uh, I thought he did, I absolutely love, um, him as, uh, Koenig in that, but, uh, yeah, um, Ethel, Ethel wants to give the ruby back to, uh, Dream, of course, she thinks if she gives him back, gives it back, all will be forgiven, um, honestly, yeah, she doesn't have to straight up lie, but if she found Dream, and said straight up, like, like, like I took it, like, like from, from, uh, you know, uh, 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 Roderick, so he didn't, you know, exploit you or whatever anymore. I was doing it to save myself, my family, you know, uh, like if she still had it or whatever. I'm sure that she could have found a way to sweet her, sweet talk herself out of it, because it wasn't like she was the one who was personally tormenting Dream. Like Dream was held captive because of Roderick. And honestly, if Ethel tried to save. Uh, dream. It probably would not have worked. It probably would not have, have um ended up uh, you know the way that it would have. You know, like you know, because even when um Alex was there and he was trying to talk to, to Dream, uh, Roderick ended up pulling up and it didn't end up good for Alex at all. So um, Ethel, I honestly don't think she would have been able to do anything. So, I don't know. I think I think Dream like has the right to be mad at her from the in the sense that you know she stole from him. But other than that, it's not like it was her that you know, kept them, um, held captive or whatever. Um, Professor Lupin. Uh, no, no, no. First, before we get to that, we got Astra. So again, the whole scene of that, you know, it's, it's hard to differentiate the, um, again, if I'm using, anyways, I'm like hurting my head talking, um, with the scene with Astra and, uh, you know, there's a whole point where they're communicating with each other and we've already had scenes like this where literally it, it feels real and then it ends up turning to be, out to be like an entire dream and nothing ends up being legit so it's like we're having multiple scenes like this where we're i'm um, over here believing it's real and then we have uh you know a shot where morpheus pops up and she wakes up and it's like all right this is this is weird you know and it's like uh then you got to remember that half these scenes didn't even pop up like when they visited her, her old girlfriend that entire interaction was a dream and it's ridiculous you know it turns out that she's been holding the sand the whole time and it's been killing her and uh well it, she's dying but it's the only thing that kind of kept her alive um you know but like uh i don't know man i think i think that's one thing that's been messing me up and i'm sure they're gonna have more fun with that like in, in a few more episodes but uh, i'm looking forward to seeing more of the those dreaming moments because it's it's pretty cool you know the fact that you can dream and he'll be able to find you you know wherever you are uh if you're sleeping um professor lupin so yes 
Yes, my lisp is kicking in. Ethel, uh, Ethel, Ethel, Ethel's son, um, John, is played by a character that I love, Remus Lupin. And um, you guys, if you guys know me, I love Harry Potter. I love Harry Potter. Uh, we got to get our reactions out. Like I've already watched. I watched it years ago, obviously, when they were like years ago when I was a kid. But um, I did do a, a, a bunch of reactions with my mom. I had her watch them. I'm gonna have my friend watch them um, down the road. But with the ones with her, we gotta get to editing because I'm really excited to you know drop those. And Lord of the Rings, we are gonna be dropping our reactions to those. Uh, we just watched the first movie and we gotta finish editing that. And um, as soon as we're done with Lord of the Rings, my goal is to try to hop right back into the editing for Harry Potter so I can kind of release them back to back. Hopefully, it'll do the channel some justice, you know, so you guys will enjoy that. But um, yeah, I mean, seeing a familiar face, at first I didn't recognize him. And it wasn't until, uh, like, not the last scene he was in, but the second to last scene, I started looking at him. I'm like, yo, wait a minute. He's, he looks familiar. And then, like, I, there was a part while I was on my phone. So I'm, I'm sure, like, people on Patreon, I wasn't on it for too long, but I, like, legit was, like, on my phone because I had to look it up. I was like, yo. Like, like, hold on. And I, I wrote, um, what was it? I wrote the cast and then I looked, you know, no, no, I wrote, I wrote, I, I forget what I wrote. I wrote like, uh, Prisoner of Azkaban, looked at the cast, clicked on his name. And then right away it showed a picture of, um, him, uh, uh what is it called? Um, it showed a picture of like, like Morpheus of Dream. So it showed that he was in the Sandman. So I was like, oh shoot, that's pretty awesome. So it is cool to see familiar faces like that. And uh, I'm just looking forward to seeing more, you know, I have, I have no, like no major beef with the show yet. Like I've enjoyed the episodes. Like, like I said, I'm not in love, but I'm love, I'm liking the episodes. So this, if you guys want me to continue, I will. It's that simple. So just let me know in the comment section. Of course, it would mean a lot if you could go to my description and Follow me, Twitter, Instagram, uh, Busy Bronze, like everything on all my social medias. But, uh, what is it? TikTok, we're almost at 100k. Like, ah, go follow me. Um, we're so close, man. We're like 2,000 followers away, and it hurts my head just thinking about it. But, um, yeah, so I think, I think we're going to leave it there. I'm going to try to edit this last one. And, um, if I am not to, maybe we'll record one more, then take the nap. That way I know I have the fourth one already. Uh, done, but we gotta figure it out. Like I said, editing is just a pain in the butt. The only thing that it's it's been easier for the first two episodes because uh, specifically because um, it's like like there's not so many reaction moments, which again I don't mind due to the fact that you know I can uh, it takes it's a little easier to edit, but um, like I don't know, it's just, it's still crazy editing wise. But I'm I'm definitely excited to hear your thoughts. Are you enjoying it? Are you not enjoying it? Did you think it was going to be better? Are you happy with what we got? Are you looking forward to, to other Netflix projects? Let me know what ones you're looking forward to. And um, I will see you soon. Stay safe. You guys are great. And uh, peace out.